Hey guys, the people over at Algo Laser sent me this DIY kit Mark II recently to check out and make some videos about. What I'm going to do is walk you through some of the features of this unit and why I think this would be an excellent choice for somebody who's just starting out their laser journey. Although, this is great for experienced users too. It's super easy to set up. The Algo OS user interface and touchscreen is extremely intuitive, and at this price point it cannot be beat. This is not going to be a deep dive into the unboxing or assembly of this unit. There are plenty of videos online about that. I will touch on the fact that this is the best packaged anything that I've ever received in the mail. It is fantastically packaged. And also the instructions uh, for assembly are very clear. And I had this thing up and running in about 45 minutes. That stuff's all fine and dandy, but let's get to the meat and potatoes here. The smart touchscreen interface is designed to keep things simple with quick access to project settings and the ability to make adjustments on the fly. This is ideal if you're looking for a tool that doesn't require a steep learning curve. This Mark II works seamlessly alongside popular software brands like Lightburn and Laser Gerbil. Here I just plugged in the computer to the Mark II. Uh, click on devices here and then find my laser. And this process is pretty automatic. It's gonna search for the laser Once it finds it, it'll pull up there, uh, add that device, and then you can name it whatever you want. Uh, I went for a pretty straightforward name here. Uh, this machine homes in the bottom left-hand corner, so I chose that as the origin, and uh, that's it. Now you can see a lot of the parameters are already preloaded uh, when it comes up there so the bed size and everything like I said the bottom left uh, want to set that as the absolute there uh, that way whenever you put something on the the bed in light burn it'll show up wherever it is in that bed uh, the origin will still be in that bottom left This really works when you have a uh, fence set up on your system. Now you can see here there's no break in the recording of this. I'm setting up a test piece straight away. Uh, this is going to be text and I'm going to engrave this. Uh, it just says test here. winging it with the parameters, uh, speeds, and power. Hope everything goes good. And it does in the end. So you get the best of both worlds. Whether you want to control your projects straight from the touch screen, or if it's more your style like mine, you can plug your computer right into it. All right, Brian from the future. Probably one of the coolest things about this laser is the fact that you can control it from your phone. There's an Algo laser app. And you can see here, it says device not connected. I know hopefully you can see this me pushing the button and it's moving. I think he can. So that's cool and everything. I mean, you can literally do everything from your phone that you can do on the laser itself. Some other really cool things, and I'll make an entire video about this because I think this is so cool, is the setting up the projects on your phone and then being able to send from your phone to your laser. Upon opening your Algo Laser app, you will be greeted with your home screen, which will show if you're connected to your machine or not. Also have control options, uh, which is mainly just for movement. And then inside the engraving screen, you have all of these different options. Through some of these cards here, the library is a bunch of preloaded graphics that you can use to practice with, but there are no permissions or license or anything like that from Algo to use commercially, so practice only.
Moving into the file section here, Algo has preloaded some graphics. Uh, again, I don't think these are commercially licensed, so you can't be making these and selling them, but really good to practice with. Uh, they also have preloaded some different test cards for uh, utilizing with different materials and testing out how the laser works with those materials. So it's really awesome that these are preloaded and you don't even have to do anything. Just load it up and hit go. The last of these uh, design options that we're going to be going through here is the text. And this allows you to enter text and then stylize it to your liking. One thing I didn't show here was uh, the different options for fonts. But believe me, it's in there. But you can uh, make the text hollow. You can italicize it, uppercase, uh, underline. You can also do a strike through on there. A lot of different options uh, to get exactly what you're looking for as far as your text goes. Once you like how your text looks, you can click the next button in the top right of the screen and that'll pull up your preview page. On this page, you can change the size of your text via the slider or the input area. You can also change the location of your project by moving it around on the screen or by inputting the coordinates. On the image adjustment tab, you can control the image brightness and contrast, pretty much how the image looks on the screen, but this is gonna have zero effect on the final product. When I'm ready to start, I can hit the start button and we will find something to engrave this on really quick. All right, here's a scrap piece of half inch plywood. All right, I wanna frame this one more time just to make sure that I am good to go here. Alright, I like that a lot more. Highest quality, we're going to do contour and fill. Uh, we're going horizontal back and forth. We're at 100% laser power. Uh, 800 millimeters a minute. Or, I'm sorry, 8,000 millimeters a minute. Sheesh, that would have been slow. Uh, we're going to do it one time, and let's see what happens here. Fire away. While it's doing that, it's also giving me a... Uh, percentage, how much time uh, has elapsed, and a countdown. So, a whole lot of uh, information on here. Oh, and you can pause or stop this right from where you are. Let's pause it. And start it back up. The other awesome part about this. <laughs> oh, can you see that? All right, yep. It is filling in as it's engraving. How freaking cool is that? See what we got. All 
All right, Boss Cat will just sit there for a minute. Um, one really cool thing about this app too is the files. G-code files. I don't know if you can see that, but there's an engraving test and a grayscale. Your engraving test looks just like that, and that'll tell you what it's gonna look like when you are engraving on any specific item. So I'm gonna grab something and we'll be right back. Boss Cat. All right, we're gonna start out this uh, engraving test on here. We're uploading right now. Okay, fresh off the engraver. You have a one pass cut. You have your line interval test. Uh, with different speeds, vertical and horizontal. And also your engraving, uh, line interval, uh, one millimeter, uh, different speeds, different powers. Again, I didn't set any of this up. This was all on the app and I controlled this from my phone. So uh, it just shows you how smart of a design this is, but how simple it is. If you have a smartphone and you know how to navigate through apps, you will, yeah, text message. If you can text, you can absolutely figure out how to control this from your phone. This machine is versatile enough for both beginners and experienced laser users, and it's flexible enough to suit a variety of workflows. One of the other standout features of this unit is its flexibility. It comes with the option of different power modules, such as 5 watt and 10 watt that this unit has. You can customize this based off of your projects or needs. You can also buy the extendable work area but we'll get to that in a minute. And with its precision diode laser, the Mark II delivers incredibly detailed results on wood, acrylic, leather, the list goes on and on. Algo Laser is also thought of practical and real life challenges with their interruption recovery feature. With this feature turned on, let's say you are engraving something and you have a power outage, or you just happen to trip over the cord and unplug it, you will be able to seamlessly continue that project from where you left off once power is re-established. Not only is that a huge time saver, but it's also a material saver. Here's this process in practice. Note that I do not have the interruption recovery feature enabled prior to starting this, but I was able to pull the power, reinstate the power, turn on this feature and still continue this logo. Very cool feature here. You can see with the process complete, this logo is perfect. It started off where it left off, no issues whatsoever. Like I was saying earlier, you can expand this work area. It currently sits at 400 by 435 millimeters, but you can buy the extension kit, which puts you at 400 by 880 millimeters. So you can tackle either large projects or batch out a bunch of smaller projects. To wrap it up here, the Mark II kit combines user-friendly design, a bunch of built-in powerful features, and awesome flexibility. This is a great choice whether you're just starting out or want to add another tool to your arsenal. One of my next videos is going to be how to set up this base and also how to make a fence to utilize with this machine in Lightburn. If you're interested in seeing that kind of stuff, I'd love it if you'd come back and check it out. Once again, thank you to Algo Laser for sending out this kit. And if you've made it this far, thank you. I really appreciate you. And we'll catch you on the next one.